What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hawes Capital video. Uh, in this video series, we are going to be covering the Flow blockchain uh, and a couple of different opportunities that are on there uh, that you could maybe start taking advantage of, depending on uh, if you are invested in Flow or if it's something that you may be interested in. Uh, so in the video series, what we'll do is we'll go over a couple of different wallets. Um, we're going to set up the Blockdo wallet today, which is uh, one that we'll be using to interact with many different dApps on Flow. Uh, and then we'll go over a couple of DeFi opportunities and maybe another video. And we know Flow blockchain is more so uh, the NFT blockchain for sure. Uh, so we will definitely review some NFT opportunities and upcoming projects as well for those who may be interested in NFTs. Remember, you do got to be careful with NFTs, guys. It's still the wild, wild west out there. Um, and you don't know who's going to be the next Pablo, uh, Pablo Picasso. And you don't know if you're buying someone's five-year-old daughter's art. So just be careful uh, in the NFT space. So with that said, guys, we're going to go over flow. Uh, I think it is uh, a trade idea um, that is part of the Haas Cap 100 index that we created for you. Um, and I think it's a trade idea that's got a lot of up upside potential to it, guys. Uh, right now, it's been in a, a crazy downtrend since like $20. It's just been cascading and melting down. Um, so again, we're just looking to wait for a little bit of signs of a bottom. Uh, and we'll start to go back and look for entries in there because we don't catch falling knives. We're professional dip buyers. Remember that. Uh, but with that said, um, the NFTs on Flow, they've already shown you with the partner shot, uh, with the partnerships they have with the NBA, MLB, um, you know, they've got licensed NFTs and copyright protections and things. Uh, so those are the type of things you definitely want to look for when you're uh, investing in NFTs. So uh, with that said, let's jump into today's video. Um, what I want to introduce you guys to, and this is a project, this is the third party project actually built on top of uh, the, the Flow blockchain to help with the expansion of the network and the ecosystem. Uh, this is Flowverse, all right? And the website will be under the video like they all are. All the websites will be under the video. Uh, and Flowverse is kind of like uh, what we've seen with um, Awesome Nair and different ones. Uh, these websites that get put together and created uh, for like a one-stop shop all for you to find everything you need related to the project. Like we used Awesome Near before, uh, and there's another one that we use where all the different projects as they get listed, uh, they come here. So what Flowverse has created, guys, like I said, is a one-stop shop all for everything that you can think of Flow. Uh, they've got a pretty cool, um, you know, some pretty cool options on the site built in. So if you know you are huge in the NFT space, you know it's important to always be tracking the most uh, upcoming drops that are happening uh they've got here for you the upcoming drops so they list for you so you can keep track on calendars uh so you know when these nfts are launching uh they've also got rankings uh which i know is really important especially uh in the nft market uh, because this is how you're able to see, you know, the movement of your, your NFTs, what NFTs you're gaining value, what's losing value, where the hype is. Uh, so good things for you to be able to track here. And it's cool that they've got you the primary market, which is like, you know, initial listings, secondary markets. Uh, and then you've got like Discord rankings based off of like what's talked about, what's being sold and passed around in Discords, uh, what Discords hold the most users right now. So these are all good things because, you know, you've got a lot of support behind there. As you can see, NBA Top Shots. Uh, uh, top of the top right there all right uh, but with that said before we even get started with all the fun stuff flow has to offer we need a wallet right so if we come over here to wallet there are a couple of different wallets that you can do um in this video today we're going to go ahead and set up the block though wallet because we're also going to go over block though swap and a couple other things um and then we'll touch on some other wallets that you can use for the most part block though will allow you uh to connect uh, to all the different uh, sites that exist out there. Um, but there's a couple of things on it. Like the major downside to me on this Blockdo wallet that I'm not a fan of uh, and why I'm only using this in test wallets uh, is this right here. Now, they pose this as something to the upside. And again, maybe for new people who are coming into crypto who uh, are having a hard time keeping track of all the different private keys for the different wallets, you might feel more comfortable doing this. But I personally, I love my private keys. I love the fact like when I'm setting up a new wallet or something new, I get those 12 to 24 words and I have my private key. It just lets me feel a lot more safe and secure that no one's got this. And the odds of you hacking into it might be a little bit lessened um, compared to something else. What Blockdo allows is for your wallet to be streamlined 
signed and connected through an email address. So I've got a burner email that I'm going to use just for this wallet alone. Um, just made this this uh, little burner email uh, and we're going to go ahead and set it up. So when you set up the new wallet, what happens is they send you like um, uh, the, uh, something similar to your Google Authenticator, a six digit code to that email. And you have to go ahead and verify that code via email to get in. And that's cool and all, but I actually personally know people who have been hacked through their emails. All right, so the person wasn't even looking for crypto. They just got their email hacked and then someone got into that. So that's why that's an issue for me. Um, I feel like you're taking away security and you're now putting my security in the hands of, um, you know, emails. If, what if what if Yahoo gets hacked or your Gmail or something? And, and these things happen all the time, especially with Yahoo. Uh, we see it happen all the time. So that's just my little rant on what I don't like about the wallet. Uh, but other than that, everything else looks good. It's a multi-chain wallet. Uh, you can access dApps directly from there. You can purchase, you can stake, you can do a lot there. Uh, and it already has its own governance token for voting and usage within the app. So that's always cool that you do see development like that happening. Uh, I want to go ahead and do the wallet setup for you. However, if I do the wallet setup here uh, on the computer, it will only allow for the phone version and I already have the phone version set up. Uh, and I did an iPad version as well. Uh, so for me to go ahead and show you how to do it on the desktop, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Blockto Swap. All right. And that is swap.blockto.app. And again, you guys can find that all over here on Flowverse. If you just scroll down a little bit, it's all alphabetical. Uh, you got Blockto Swap right here. When you click on it, it should just take you over here. All right. So what we want to do is we want to do Connect Wallet. When you do connect wallet, it will either recognize that you have a wallet or that you don't. Uh, there is no wallet established on this uh, browser yet. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set one up. Uh, as you can see, it says register because that email has not ever been registered uh, and it sends you a six digit code. All right. So there is the six digit code that we got 436605, 436605. All right. And there we go. This is my receive address for this wallet. And just that simple, guys, the wallet is set up for block, though. It's really and truly just that simple. All right. Um, I already have another block, though, wallet. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll send some flow uh, over to this one and we will go ahead and uh, be able to start doing some, some transactions from there. However, guys, this is your uh, receive address. Uh, if you have some flow token, like if you got your flow sitting on KuCoin, um, paste this address into there uh, and you should be able to send your flow and directly fund the wallet for the most part, guys. Uh, it's just that simple. So as you can see, we're connected uh, on Blockto Swap. There's not many access to many coins. You've got Flow, uh, the Blockto token, Flow USD, and TUSD. All right. So what I will do is I am going to really quick just send some Flow over here, uh, just so I can go ahead and get that funded. I need to really quickly just find um, the other Flow wallet that I have because I don't remember uh, where I had all that stored in. But regardless, I'll uh, I'll store and I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll set that up. Um, but I just wanted you guys to see that over here. A uh, couple of options, as you can see, there's no real liquidity that they have in there. But if you want to go ahead and add some liquidity into into the pools, you know that's always something beneficial. Um, Blocked already has a token, so I'm not sure if you're going to be eligible for any airdrops just for doing this. Uh, but it does provide another place for you uh, to maybe go ahead and earn some passive on uh, on your flow. Uh, they've got a la launch pad that's going on here, and the launch pad will go over a little bit more uh, in detail in another video. Uh, I kind of just want to share with you a few things you can do. Uh, teleport is your option to go ahead and um, transfer tokens. Uh, so you can go ahead and transfer. So let's say we wanted to move uh, some flow, or we wanted to move some uh, some USDT uh, and some flow. All right. So if I wanted to move uh, flow from flow blockchain to USDT, I would go ahead and connect my Ethereum wallet. So I have my block wallet where my flow and my flow USDT is. I connect to an Ethereum wallet, uh, which would go ahead and I would use my MetaMask as the Ethereum wallet right there. And then that is how you would go ahead and connect if you wanted to go ahead and bridge tokens over. So you can do the opposite way too. Like let's say if you had flow on the Ethereum blockchain for whatever reason, uh, and you wanted to move it over here, you could bridge it that way to the flow. Uh, but one way to avoid that guys, I always tell you, if you've got flow or anything on the Ethereum network, a lot of times you can avoid paying the double gas fees uh, by just paying one gas fee, sending it to like an exchange like KuCoin and then using KuCoin's withdrawal method uh, 
they usually give you multiple blockchains to withdraw from and just withdraw from the cheaper chain or the main chain. We've shown you to do that with Phantom, showed you how to do that with Matic. Um, and again, it's a couple extra steps, but you do avoid paying additional bridge fees and Ether gas fees to bridge tokens over. Uh, but for the most part, guys, that's Blockto Swap. That's the Blockto wallet. Uh, only downside to me is the fact that they run it through your email. So it does require email verification. Uh, that might be helpful for some people and might be better for on the go, but I prefer the private keys. Like, give me private keys. Let me be in control of that. Um, so that was uh, just wanted to review that for you guys. Make sure you understand how to set up the wallets, um, because before we actually dive into different projects, you do need to have a wallet set up uh, to be part of these different DAFs, guys. So I hope that video was helpful. Uh, super simple. All you need is an email address. It'll send you the code and you can start sending your flow there, uh, pooling it. And we'll go over a couple more projects in future videos. Guys, hope that video was helpful. Catch you on the next one.